Yes, lads, welcome back to another video on the channel today. In today's episode of the Juventus career mode, we've got quite a lot. Going on the first sign of the January transfer window will take place today. And we've got quite a few games to get our noses through. So we're going to start with a home game against Paris Saint-Germain. Then an away game against Udinese. We're going to sim the entire month of December. All five games try and get us through to January. Where we'll play Sassuolo and then sign a new player. And potentially play them in the game against Udinese. So let's start off with the Champions League. Big game against Paris Saint-Germain. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's match day. As you can see with the teams, our team is as follows. Chesney starts in goal at the back four of Quadrado with the captain Benucci, Bremer and Alfonso Davies. Midfield three, Locatelli, McKenney and Malinowski with the forward trio of Kostic, Chiesa and Dusan Vlahovic. We're going to see the PSG team as well though. Obviously, Donnarumma starts in goal for their back five with uh, Hakimi, Kimpembe as captain, which is a weird one. Skriniar, Marquinhos and Mendes. Midfield two of Sola and Verratti. And Mbappe, Neymar, and of course, Lionel Messi is the front three. Fours are Juve. Let's beat this team. Come on. So, we're at the Allianz Stadium for this one. Very, very box-tight ground. We need to win this game. The Juventus Stadium helms the biggest game in European football tonight. We see the match ball. We need to win. Let's get into this game. Case has got to run with Mendes. Not much support from anyone here. Not much pressure either. Giesa from distance. That's a fantastic goal. Federico Giesa with a tremendous finish. The Dybala celebration comes out. I love it. I absolutely love it. Donnarumma with no chance in that one. What a goal. 1-0 Juventus. Come on. It's a good play by PSG. Can we get near them? Oh, it's a good challenge. But they get everything back. Chesney with an important save. Well done. Not quite finding his gears so far this game. Good through ball towards Vlahovic though. He does find it this time. Can Vlahovic make it two? Yes, he can. What a goal that one was. The ball from Kostic. The finish from Vlahovic. We've got PSG on the ropes right now. Come on, let's make it more. More! 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 So good first half. 2-0 ahead. Chiesa from Vlahovic with important goals. Let's dominate this second half. Vlahovic is not quite making a run, but Chiesa is. Outside the boot, Chiesa again to make it three. Oh my God, I need to stop doing them. I know I said, no more outside of the foot shot goals. This is a bit ridiculous. He just bags everything. Great goal. Great, great goal. Another assist from the midfield. And Chiesa with the best goal of the lot. 3-0 Juventus. Mbappe inside Bremer. Oh, it's good football. Davies can't quite get near. Chesney with a tremendous save again. Oh, no. Chesney, unlucky. My fault. Bad defending. Very, very poor defending from me. Why is he celebrating like they won the Champions League? Something they'll never do. That no, was not very was nice. Just... Locatelli looking for the inside pass. Kostic is free. I'm Kostic pulls it back to Mbappe to make it four. Oh, my days. This is absolutely ridiculous. And look at the room on the right. Where is Hakimi? Just ball watching. 4-1. Brilliant. 4-1. What a result that is. I mean, stat-wise, they had more expected goals, but I still think we dominated the game in general. Two of our goals were worldies, bear in mind as well. I mean, three saves, but they were really good saves. Donnarum made four saves. Their man of the match was Neymar. He got an assist and that were it. That's it? That's it? Literally, if you empty Quadrado's back pocket, it'll have Neymar inside it. <laughs> Kostic with two assists, Case with two goals, Vlavic with two goals. I mean, PSG alone, this is ridiculous. I don't know, guys. We'll move on to the U Udinese game anyway. Come on, Juve, let's get another win. So, for this next game against Udinese, we start off with a team of Perrin in goal. Got the back four of Danilo, Scalvani, Bremer and Davies. Midfield three, Paredes is the captain, Fagioli and Rabio, With Malinovski on the left, Dima in the right and Keane as the striker. So, a completely new eleven. Bar Davies and Bremer. So let's go and take this game to Danese and get another three points in the bag for the Syria title race. Come on, Juventus, let's go. One minute, 37 seconds later. I like the netting. Black and white. What the fuck are you talking about, man? I mean, this, this is a nice ground, Stadion Nedder. I think it's a real ground. I'm not sure, though. Malinowski now towards Di Maria. 
back towards Malinowski to make it 1-0. It's a good save by the keeper. Out towards Rabio. Hits the first time. It's off the post. Good little bit of play in midfield here. Rabio's got it again. Steaming forward with the ball. Rabio from distance with an effort, and that is fantastic. Oh, I know his mum's like not the best person in the world and she's frustrating, but this boy's special. He just needs to harness it more. Just runs. No one presses him. Edge of the box, 16.7 metres, and we're 1-0 up. He's walking off happy. It's a good first half from him. And we do lead Udinese 1-0 with an important goal from Adrian Rabio. Let's get to the second half. Nice. Off the back of his man, it's a good run to be fair. Noitink can't keep up with him because Keane's just a lot quicker. Power try OP. Moise Keane makes it too. That is a good goal to be fair. The former Everton man. Influential that. Very good play by Malinowski. An even better finish by the man himself, Moise Keane. Let's bring Pogba on. Maria finds the run of Pogba. Can he score after coming on? Poor Pogba. What a save by Silvestri. Pogba trying to get on the end of this. Moise Keane, easy chance. 3-0. I would just focus on the corner so much. And Moise Keane with another good goal. He's been really good, you know, coming into this team. He just wins everything. Good passing towards Rabiot. Pogba makes a good run off his man. Poor Pogba to make it for... Scalvani's at the heart of that one. That is a good goal from Juventus. Dizzy kicks the corner flag. Yeah, that was all Scalvani, that. And Pogba with a brilliant goal. 4-0 Juve. Good result against Udinese. 4-0 away from home. Two goals for Keane. One for Pogba. One for Rabio. Let's see these match stats. Domination. One shot for them. 0 0.6 expected goals. 19 shots. 4.6 expected goals. Very, very well deserved. Third clean sheet of the season for Perrine, who makes zero saves, apparently. Silvestri made six. Decent performance by him as well. But mainly, the man for us, who is fantastic. Moise Keane with two goals. One for Rabia, one assist as well. Scalvani was better than Bremer. He was fantastic. Very, very good indeed. Let's move on to our five simulated games and see how we do through the month of December. A little longer than a few minutes later. So, our first simulated affair, this time against Sampdoria. We win by three goals to nil. Goals from Vlahovic, Quadrado and Kostic after Quadrado was subbed on for Danilo, which is quite an interesting one. Man of the match, Philip Kostic with an 8.8. .8, and we'll move on to our next game as well. In this next game, we get a 3-1 victory over Benfica in sort of a dead rubber in the Champions League. We've gone through on 15 points, top of the group. PSG finished second on 13. And um, yeah, it's been very, very good. I think these finished in third, Benfica. So we see Di Maria open the score in the 25th. Enzo Fernandez then scored in the 30th just before half time. Pogba scored in the 59th. Then missed a penalty in the 65th. And then Locatelli in the 75th. Concealed a victory with a 3 1 victory. Victory was sent too many times then. And Pogba gets a 9.2. Fantastic result. And uh, we've got three more games in the league to make our way through. First of those games comes against Bologna away from home. That's a difficult game to go to. Home game will then follow against Hellas Verona and then an away game against Salernitana, and then we'll go into January. We've got a new signing to make, possibly two, and move our way into the final played game of this episode against Sassuolo. I'll see you in the next game. Let's go. Here we go. So in this game, we get a disappointing 1-1 draw against Bologna. Bar opens a scoring in the third minute. Rabio gets a double booking. Inside 27 minutes and is sent off concurrently. And then Bremer gets the equaliser in the 30th minute. And then a pretty dead second half with Bremer getting the man of the match with 7.8. So not too bad away against Bologna. But we should be doing a lot better. We need to get ourselves back on track. We then get a very tight 2-1 victory against Hellas Verona with goals from Quadrado and Malinowski either side of the half-time interval. And then boo scores in the 61st so yeah decent result there and one final simmed game before we go into the transfer window where we've got big players to sign we need to spend all this money guys i like to make money all right so in the final simmed game we get a 2-0 win against Saler and Salner Saler Nitana english motherfucker do you speak it Blavich opens a score in just after half time and then malinovsky scores 30 minutes later, and uh, Vlavic takes on the match ball with the man of the match, and Perrin gets a solid 
8.3. Very, very good result as we beat the 8th place side to cement our place inside the top three in this topsy-turvy Serie A season. Let's move on to January and our first signing of that window. Let's go, Juve. Come on. Before we get into the new signings, we've had some bad news. Paredes, who's played over half our games this season, has been recalled by PSG. I mean, Milik's been recalled. No one cares. But Alexandro has also departed. So three players leave us. We're going to have to replace them with some youth academy prospects. I've got a few in mind who we could sign. So the first one is Christian Bernardi. He can play right back, CDM and centre back. He's got massive potential. He's 68 rated and he joins the old lady. That's a fantastic young player to bring on board. We're also going to bring in Tito Cabrera. He's also a young player. He's fantastic all round and he's got very, very good potential. I was going to bring in Mercado, but I thought, you know what? This guy seems like he's got more to his game. They've got... I know they've got identical stats, but I feel like left-footed CDM. It's a bit different to what we've got in the club. He could be perfect to fit in the mould of Paredes. He can also play centre-forward as well, so um, he'll be a great replacement. And we'll get to that sign-in, who we're going to make at the start of this window. And that man is Liverpool forward Roberto Firmino. Go for £23 million to start off with. See what Jürgen says. They want Rabio. That's quite a weird one. Looks like him, to be fair. And they agree on the fee. 25 million for Firmino. 90k a week. That seems perfect. Let's see him holding up the shirt. So here we see him holding it. Roberto Firmino. All dolled up in his Juve shirt. I wonder what the board think to that signing. Good squad player as a right winger. This is the important part. F! <laughs> oh, this game's ridiculous. The ridiculous bullshit! Right, so we've got a very strong team out of this game. Perrine starts in goal with the back four of Bernardi making his debut for the old lady. Benucci alongside him. Old enough to be his dad, to be fair. Maybe his granddad in the north. Bremer is the other centre-back. Davies at left-back. Midfield three of Locatelli, McKenney, and Paul Pogba. Much to Graeme Souness' disre disrepute, sorry. Left mid Kostic, right wing Chiesa, and then Vlahovic leading the line against Sassuolo, the team which is captained by Domenico Berardi, the former Juventus man. Let's get into this game, guys. It's a big one at the Allianz Arena. Come on, Juve. Such a nice-looking ground. I'm glad they've got the scanning now, I'm going to be honest with you. Looks so much better. We need to win. Come on, let's beat Sassuolo at home. Overlapping run again by Bernardi. Good whip in the middle towards Paul Pogba. Bicycle kick, great save. Team is run here. Oh, it's a good pass towards Chiesa. Chiesa strong outside of the foot. Federico Chiesa. Fish bash bosh. 1-0 Juventus. Brilliant goal. Brilliant run. And that's all we need to start this game off the way we want to. Tremendous start. Gets past his man Federico. The best young talent in the world is Federico Chiesa. Cuts inside one. Cuts inside two. Federico Chiesa. <laughs> it's tremendous. Gets an assist for Bernardi but in the process scores. One of the goals of the season. That is fantastic, that. It's the second goal so far. Chiesa, tremendous goal again. Good first half from Juventus. 2-0 ahead, two goals for Chiesa. Let's continue this in the second. Firmino's got a lot of time here. No one's pressing Roberto Firmino. What a save by Consigli. Federico Chiesa looking for the return ball from Bernardi. He's trying to get past his man Marquise. And he does indeed, to be fair. Good run. Roberto, Kostic actually instead. I thought it was going to be Firmino, but it's not. Kostic makes it three. And Bernardi gets his second assist of the game. I mean, you know what two is, but still, I just like to emphasise it's his second assist of the game. Everything you want in delivery. Great runs as well. 3-0 to Juventus. Fantastic result. Good pass towards Fagiel. He's got a lot of running in him here. The young Italian. Can he get his debut goal in the Serie A? Yes, he can. That puts the cherry on top of the pie, on top of the cake, on top of the diabetes to make it 4-0. No one pressed him. They're just leggy now, Sam, uh, Sassuolo, sorry. 4-0, Juve. Game over! Destroyed. It's a very solid 4-0 win, that. Double from Chiesa. Kostic then scores, and then Fagiolo as well. You can see by the stats, we deserve to win that. 12 shots to 4. 3 points expected goals to 1.5. And I think we're going to know who's got the man of the match in this game. Of course, that man was Federico Chiesa with a 9.1. Two goals in 30 minutes. 
Influential in the other goals. Firmino gets an assist on his debut for the club. Kostic and Fagiolo also score. McKenny gets another assist. And then the other two assists go to Christian Bernardi. Instant impact. I think he might have dethroned Contrado as I start in right back there. But let's uh, wrap this episode up now. So as you can see, we're still third in the league after a very good episode. Uh, we dropped points, obviously, in one of the games we got a draw, but we did actually win four out of five in the league. I believe maybe five out of six. Uh, Inter still remain on the same goal difference, but, well, actually, they're on less goal difference, but they're still above. That's very strange. Milan are also above us on 47, and Lazio are away away now. Seven games, sorry, seven points behind, three games overall. And, uh, I mean, the top four looks pretty much set this season. At least the top three does, I would say, anyway. Martinez and Liao still remain the top two scorers in the league. Caprari actually is on 13 as well. We still don't have a top scorer inside the top 15 with our top scorers being Chiesa, Keen and Vlahovic all still on the same amount of goals with Keen playing way less games. Still not too bad there though. Assist wise, Chiesa is a top assist with 8 in 17. Vlahovic has got 6 now, dropped off a little bit. Davis has got 5 and I think that's it. No, Locatelli's got 3 still. Not too bad there. And then we're actually top of the clean sheets. Perrine has got a fantastic 75% clean sheet record this season. Wow. In games played. Six clean sheets, top of the leaderboard, top of the percentage leaderboard. Absolutely fantastic from our Italian goalkeeper. So a look into the next episode. We start off with a home game against Bologna. An away game will then follow against Sampdoria. These games will probably be simulations i'd imagine i'm not too sure because we're gonna have a sign in in between these games here a center back i'm looking at a young dutch defender just to give you a quick heads up the next home game will be against empoli then we have a cup game not sure who that is against yet that's to be decided tbd no way game against inter will then follow to finish off january then we'll have a home game against roma and away game against atalanta and potentially the first leg of the champions league against Borussia Dortmund so guys as always I really appreciate you watching and uh, please like and subscribe leave a comment if you feel free to and I'll catch you next episode on the channel very very soon guys stay safe see you soon peace